Hey YouTube, gonna tell you guys about my Coin Star Adventure. Yeah, actually my Brookshire Brothers Adventure. We went up there to get some cake and a few essentials that we needed for the house. You know, plasticware, this and that and the other. And I had planned on spending the little bit of change I had left. I had about $18 in change total that I'd been through metal detecting and through gathering from transactions and purchases, you know, using cash, <coughs> and um, got up there, and the Coinstar thing actually worked flawlessly. I got, everything went through, no rejects, and it came out, and I have my voucher actually in my wallet, and I will show it to you, because this is very important. The voucher is in hand. Now, a lot of you are saying, oh, what happened? You shouldn't have that. That's right, I shouldn't. Do you know why? Well, I stood there. Let's see, the transaction completed at about 8.04, as it says on the voucher. 8.04.47, actually. And uh, I just went and stood in the uh, checkout line. I was going to just go ahead and exchange it for some money so we could get a couple little extras, maybe a cake or something. And my better half was with me. So she's going to get the cakes and stuff. The lady at the register says, you got to take it to customer service. This is after maybe about two minutes standing in line. She was pretty quick about getting the cake that she wanted. So maybe about 8.06, 8.07. And... Uh, walk over to customer service while well, it's closed and, and I walk back to the cashier and said well it's closed what do I do I mean because I'm gonna tell you about a little something on this voucher that I'm worried about I think I may have just lost all my money and I'm not sure because uh, I go over there and the guy who normally works in customer service at that hour at the Kirbyville store Brookshire Brothers um, it was like 8.07 or so. He's like, well, could you help him out? Uh, so he's like, no. We're closed. Now here's the thing. That's their policy. on, And he flat out, that's kind of the way he did it. He just basically flat out, no. You know, just right there. So, I have a voucher in my hand that on the bottom says, redeem this today at your at this store today at this store and where I'm worried about this is whether or not I'm able to get up there tomorrow or not is will this thing be valid tomorrow or have I lost close to twenty two uh, twenty dollars in currency about eighteen dollars and some odd cents that's including what Coinstar took as their cut Because one guy decided to be a total jerk and wouldn't take one minute of his time, I may have just lost a sum of money. And twenty dollars doesn't seem like a lot of money, but when you're between paychecks, twenty dollars is quite a bit of difference. It can get you a few things that you need to get through, which was the case for us. That was the reason why I was redeeming it right then and there. So we could do that or get something nice. She found out she had a little money. Well, it ended up she had to buy everything on her card and I have a little slip of paper now that says that Coinstar has this money with a transaction number and everything but it says redeem today at this store so uh, I don't know what's going to happen I'm going to continue this video tomorrow but uh, I can remember a time when people weren't such assholes I'll just put it that way But it's, it says a lot. It says a lot for the store chain that such things go on. You know, you couldn't take two minutes to do that so that now, you know, bad crap may happen tomorrow. I'm going in tomorrow. I'm going in tomorrow if I can get a ride up there. See where that also did this. You see this? I can't drive. I have to beg rides everywhere I go. So that's put me out. This one man has put me out and has possibly cost me a bit of money. 
because he decided he wanted to be an asshole. So you know what I did? I wrote corporate. I just finished writing corporate and told them what happened. That is no lie. I went to the Brookshire Brothers website. I found that little contact us link and I dug up the information I needed and I wrote corporate. There's no point in getting mad about these things. I found, you know, and I, I have made the mistake of getting mad about things in the past. The easiest way to deal with these problems is when you've got a jerk like that who doesn't represent the store's image or the company image, write a letter. We're going to see what happens. They haven't returned it. Now, if they don't return my correspondence, well, then it's a corporate asshole kind of thing. And if that's the case, well, Walmart will get my business. You want to know what's killing some American companies? The asshole factor. That's what's killing them. Yeah. And depending on how tomorrow goes, they may or may not have me as a customer anymore. I probably won't anyway because of that. It's kind of ridiculous. So everybody says, oh, Wally World is undermining. You know what? Wally World kind of tries to make sure you're happy. You know, they try to help you. Now, that is one thing I will say about Walmart. And I can say this because I have a history of going there. Generally, if something goes wrong at Walmart, they try to help you. You know, it's not this, no. It's not policy. No. And the uh, cashier, it seemed like the cashier kind of was surprised, too. I mean, she just went back to doing her thing, but... So, there you go. There you go. Your friendly Berkshire Brothers. Cost me $18 and 60 some odd cents, most likely. I will post a follow-up video to this tomorrow. And we'll see what happens. And if I'm right, I'm right. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But I somehow suspicion that I'm going to have problems tomorrow. And if I do, well, I'll be up here talking to you guys. What I would like for all of you to do that see this video is please stay tuned for the follow-up. If it turns ugly, well, let's go ahead and show the world by spreading this and reposting this.